Hello, I am uh, Peter Krostrup, Professor of Sport and Health Sciences at the University of Southern Denmark. I have been working with uh, Football for Health for 15 years, and our research shows that uh, football is three types of training. It is strength training, endurance training, and aerobic high-intensity training at the same time, thereby providing an optimal stimuli for cardiovascular fitness, metabolic fitness, and musculoskeletal fitness. And uh, a total of 130 articles that I've contributed to actually shows that uh, small-sided football training is uh, an effective prevention and treatment of lifestyle diseases such as type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and osteoporosis. And um, in this uh, editorial for this Football is Medicine special issue coming out before the World Cup 2018, um, we have uh, looked into the specific effects of uh, football for children in terms of improving uh, health, improving fitness, improving well-being, but also improving cognitive function uh, through uh, small-sided football drills and also uh, health education on the football pitch. On top of that, we have been uh, looking uh, in randomized control trials with various patient groups, with uh, type 2 diabetes patients, with hypertensive patients, and also with uh, cancer patients, how medium-term and long-term interventions with football training actually uh, affects the health status. And uh, the conclusion is clear from this special issue, but also from three previous meta-analyses related to the fitness and health effects of football, uh, that football is broad-spectrum medicine. Uh, we've also concluded that football is for all and football is for life. Um, and I can summarize the uh, effects of football for patient groups by uh, highlighting a large effects on blood pressure, 11 over 7 millimeters of mercury for men and women with mild to moderate hypertension, with uh, large increases in uh, VO2 max, an average of 3.51 milliliters per minute per kilogram, uh, together corresponding to uh, a reduction in the risk of cardiovascular disease of more than 50%. On top of that, um, football uh, provides broad spectrum uh, reduction in cardiovascular fitness also by lowering uh, fat mass with an average of 1.72 kilograms over 12 to 24 weeks and also providing a lowering of LDL cholesterol, uh, triglycerides, and in some cases, glucose tolerance. Uh, All together, making uh, football a broad spectrum, uh, non-pharmacological intervention uh, that is very, very interesting as, as a health enhancing tool uh, of uh, the general population. Uh, and also a very, very interesting uh, non-pharmacological treatment of, of lifestyle diseases. Um, in a way, you can say that um, um, this is a, a joyful and social way to improve your health. And uh, we also have good results coming out from our sports sociologists and sports psychologists looking into um, the joyful elements and the social elements of team sports, uh, altogether concluding that uh, football and other team sports uh, can actually be used in terms of uh, promoting long-term adherence to uh, a healthy lifestyle. And um, it is so that when you are recruited to take part in physically, physical activity with football, you are often focusing on the health effects. But as soon as you start playing with the team, you focus more on the, the fun and social parts and that is important for the adherence. And uh, I hear from uh, the sports sociologists that people are getting more uh, into we stories rather than I stories, and from the sports psychologists that uh, they um, 
see intrinsic motivation rather than in extrinsic motivation. Uh, and uh, that is really important. Another important aspect is that even though football training is very intense, with high heart rates, uh, with a high average heart rate as well over a long time and with a large impact on muscle and bones, uh, it's not perceived as a hard activity. Probably because they focus on, on the joyful elements rather than the physical strain. So uh, altogether, uh, this special issue is uh, further supporting uh, the evidence base that uh, small-sided football training is in fact a very effective tool in uh, combating uh, lifestyle diseases and that um, it's very easy to implement this all over the world because uh, what you need is a proper warm-up program, uh, one ball and uh, two goals and uh, it's, it's so easy to get a, a proper combination of the three types of training providing the three types of uh, increases in fitness and thereby uh, actually giving good medicine to participants uh, whilst they are having fun.